On this morning's Health Watch, sleep apnea, which affects an estimated 12 million American adults. A new study says this disorder increases the risk of death for middle-aged and elderly people by up to 46% in most severe cases. But look at that. 17% increase even in moderate cases. Here with some potentially life-saving advice is our own Dr. Jennifer Ashton. Good morning. Good morning, Maggie. That seems surprising to me. What about you as a doctor? Well, the thing about this study is that physicians have known for quite some time that sleep apnea is not good for you, but this is the first time with large number of participants, they looked at over 6,000 people, that actual numbers were put to that risk. So again, 46% increased risk of death for those people who had more than 30 mm. episodes of disordered sleep per hour. So that's a huge Number. That means it's not something we can afford to ignore. No. So what exactly is sleep apnea? So when someone is sleeping, there's a soft tissue part in the back of the throat in the upper airway that can collapse, blocking the passage of air in and out. And when that happens, the blood oxygen levels drop and therefore you kind of wake up with a start. If that happens once, it's really not a problem, but it doesn't just happen once, it happens repeatedly. And again, over the course of a night, as little as 11 minutes of this type of episode can really increase the risk of death. What are some symptoms we should be looking for? So there's a couple of things. Number one, snoring. And we're not talking about a little bit of snoring here, but really loud snoring, restless sleep. If you're waking up many times during the night, and if you have really excessive daytime exhaustion, you wanna to talk to your doctor about getting a test, which is called a sleep study, to determine whether you have sleep apnea. All right, Dr. Jennifer Ashton, thank you. You bet.